Hello, this is Michael Chang, and in this video, we're going to talk about using the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. So first, what is the quadratic formula and when should I use it? In short, the quadratic formula is a method for finding the x-intercepts or the solutions for a quadratic equation. You're going to use the quadratic formula in one of four situations. Number one, the quadratic equation can't be factored. Number two, you can't figure out how to factor the quadratic equation quickly. Number three, the math question requires you to use it. Or number four, you are quicker at using the quadratic formula than using your calculator to find the solutions for time tests, that is. The quadratic formula is going to give you two different solutions, which will be the two different x-intercepts for the quadratic equation. Here's what the quadratic formula looks like. It's going to be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, we're going to try a few examples to get familiar with using this formula. First, let's try an example that works out really nicely. Take a look at this example right here. x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. We can actually factor this quadratic equation into x plus 5 times x minus 1, which gives us negative 5 and 1 as our two solutions. But let's practice using the quadratic formula with this equation just for fun. For the quadratic formula, our a is going to be 1, our b is going to be 4, and our c will be negative 5. Now plugging these numbers into the quadratic formula, we get negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 5 divided by 2 times 1. And then solving this equation, let's first do the part inside the square root. 4 squared is 16, and 4 times 1 times negative 5 equals negative 20. 16 minus negative 20 equals 36, and the square root of 36 is 6. Next, let's do the denominator. 2 times 1 equals 2. Now, let's solve the equation when we use the plus sign. 4, negative 4 plus 6 equals 2, and 2 divided by 2 equals 1, so our first solution is 1. And then when we use the minus sign, negative 4 minus 6 equals negative 10, and negative 10 divided by 2 equals negative 5. So our second solution is negative 5. And these are the solutions that we were expecting. Now, let's try one more example, one that doesn't work out quite so nicely. Take a look at this example right here. 2x squared minus 5x minus 8 equals 0. We can't factor this, so let's use the equation, or the formula, to solve it. Our a is going to be 2, our b is going to be negative 5, and our c will be negative 8. Now plugging these numbers in, when we do that we're going to have 5 or negative negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 8 divided by 2 times 2. And then solving the equation, we're going to first do the part inside the square root. Negative 5 squared is 25, and 4 times 2 times negative 8 equals negative 64. 25 minus negative 64 equals 89, and the square root of 89 is about 9.43. And then doing the denominator, 2 times 2 equals 4. Now, solving the equation when we use the plus sign, 5 plus 9.43 is 14.43, and 14.43 divided by 4 equals 3.61, or about that. So, our first solution is 3.61, and then solving it when we use the minus sign, 5 minus 9.43 is negative 4.43, and negative 4.43 divided by 4 equals negative 1.11, so our second solution is negative 1.11. So, that's basically how you use the quadratic formula, and you just need to memorize it, know when to use it, and practice using it. It's important to memorize this formula for tests, because most tests won't give it to you. And finally, with this formula, there is no quadratic equation that you will not be able to solve.